From B-2 to B-21, the evolution of America's deadliest bomber, 35 years. That's how long America waited to unveil a bomber that makes the legendary B-2 spirit feel like yesterday's news. Meet the B-21 Raider. Its radar cross-section? So tiny, it's been compared to a mosquito. Here's the jaw dropper. A single B-2 cost around $2.2 billion. The B-21? roughly $692 million. You're looking at a machine with the same ghost-like stealth, triple the advanced tech, and a price tag slashed to one-third. And while the B-2 could only stay invisible head-on, the B-21 takes stealth in every direction. The B-21 doesn't just vanish from the front, it disappears from every direction. While China and Russia pour billions into radar and missile shields, America has just flipped the script. Entire defense networks rendered powerless in an instant. This is Jet Insight, and here's why the B-21 Raider isn't just a step ahead of the B-2 Spirit, it's an outright leap. The US Air Force has delivered something extraordinary. They took the most feared bomber on Earth and made it look outdated overnight. For decades, the B-2 Spirit owned the skies. Untouchable, unseen, a nightmare for anyone who dared challenge America. But now, there's a new ruler. The B-21 Raider doesn't just outclass the B-2. It's so advanced that even calling it an upgrade feels insulting. This isn't about tweaking a legend. It's about taking three and a half decades of hard lessons and turning them into a weapon designed to protect America for the next half century. Every panel, every curve, Every bolt engineered with artificial intelligence to vanish from enemy eyes. While adversaries poured fortunes into bigger missiles and smarter radars, US Lubio. Engineers quietly built a ghost they'll never be able to track. If you believe America still leads the world in military innovation, drop a proud in the comments. This is the stealth revolution. So what makes the B-21 truly game-changing? Let's talk about stealth. When the B-2 first appeared in 1989, it rewrote the rules. Back then, stealth meant hiding only from radars head-on, perfect for its era. But the battlefield has changed. Modern defenses surround their targets with radars from every direction. Different frequencies, advanced sensors, powerful computers. That left the B-2 vulnerable, especially from the rear. Most people would click away after 20 minutes. But stay with me because what comes next will blow your mind. The B-21 is different. Engineers call it full-spectrum stealth. No matter which direction radar beams come from, the radar slips away like it was never there. Built with supercomputers running millions of simulations, every angle is sculpted to bounce radar signals into nothing. Think about that for a second. The B-2 already scared our rivals so badly, they spent billions trying to unmask it. Now? Imagine their shock when they realized those billions bought them nothing against the B-21. The radar signature says it all. Experts claim the B-21 reflects like a mosquito. Yes, a mosquito. Not a bird. Not even a baseball. Something so tiny, it's almost impossible to lock onto. Picture this. You're in your backyard at night chasing a mosquito with just a flashlight. That's exactly what enemy radar crews will face when the B-21 passes overhead. Now, here's the twist most people don't expect. The Raider is actually smaller than the B-2 Spirit. The B-2 stretches 172 feet across. The B-21, roughly 132 feet. Why build smaller? Because in stealth design, less can mean more. Every inch of surface gives radar another chance to find you. Shrinking the bomber slashes its radar footprint dramatically. But the surprises don't stop there. 
The B-2 can haul 40,000 pounds of ordnance. The B-21 maxes out at around 20,000. Sounds like a downgrade until you realize modern precision weapons can hit within inches. One missile today can wipe out what once required dozens. That means the Raider doesn't need to carry as much. Each weapon is smarter, stronger, deadlier. And the smaller size brings hidden advantages. It can take off from shorter runways. It can land at more bases worldwide. It needs less upkeep. And the cost to build and operate? A fraction of its predecessor. Now, let's talk technology. When the B-2 was born, the Soviet Union was still around. Computers were clunky, the internet was a novelty, phones were bricks. The B-21 was forged in a completely different era, one defined by artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and materials science on a whole new level. The gap between these aircraft isn't just wide, it's staggering. But before we push deeper into this story, I've got one small favor to ask. If this content blows your mind, take two seconds and smash that subscribe button. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs nothing, but it means everything to us. All right, let's dive in. The B-2 was born in a different era. Engineers sketched blueprints, built models, and tested prototypes in wind tunnels. It was groundbreaking for its time, but the tools were limited. The B-21? A completely different story. This bomber was designed with computational electromagnetic modeling and artificial intelligence. Supercomputers ran millions of simulations to fine-tune every curve, every angle, every component for perfect stealth. Even the placement of individual bolts was calculated to reduce its signature across radar, infrared, and even acoustic detection. Now let's talk materials. The B-2 relied on radar-absorbing layers that were revolutionary in the 1,980 seconds. Effective, yes, but also heavy, expensive, and high maintenance. That iconic midnight black coating? It needed constant reapplication inside climate-controlled hangars. The B-21 takes stealth to the next level. Built with advanced composites that are naturally stealthy, it's then wrapped in multifunctional coatings designed to absorb radar across multiple spectrums. They're thinner, lighter, tougher, and far more reliable than anything the B-2 ever used. And here's something you'll notice. The B-21 doesn't share the deep black look of its predecessor. Instead, it appears brighter. Because its stealth technology doesn't depend on color, it's baked directly into the materials themselves. As for cost and production, this is where the B-21 story gets really unbelievable. The B-2 Spirit program was plagued with overruns and cancellations. The Air Force originally wanted 132 bombers. In the end, just 21 were built. When you spread the astronomical development costs across so few aircraft, the price tag exploded $2.2 billion per bomber. That's more than the entire annual defense budget of some nations. The B-21 Raider learned from those mistakes. Its projected unit cost in 2022? About $692 million, less than one-third the price of a B-2. And this time, the Air Force plans to buy at least 100 of them, spreading costs across a much larger fleet. But here's the real game-changer. The savings don't stop at the sticker price. From day one, the B-21 was engineered for easier maintenance and lower operating costs. Advanced digital manufacturing and even 3D printed components slash production time and expense. Northrop Grumman says they cut the gap between design and actual production changes from the usual 15 to 20% down to just 1%. That level of precision means faster builds, lower costs, and unmatched efficiency. Operational power that rewrites the rulebook. The B-21 Raider isn't just an upgrade over the B-2 Spirit. It's a completely new class of aircraft built for missions the B-2 was never designed to handle. The B-2 was a Cold War weapon, primarily a nuclear bomber aimed at the Soviet Union. The B-21 is built for the multi-domain battlefields of the 21st century. Start with range. This bomber can fly 2,500 miles without refueling while fully loaded with weapons. That means it can hit targets anywhere on the planet while launching from secure U.S. or allied bases. 
Compare that to an F-35, which maxes out at around 930 miles before it needs fuel. And range is just the opening act. The B-21 is what experts call optionally manned. It can fly with a crew on board or completely unmanned using artificial intelligence. Picture a stealth bomber that can infiltrate enemy airspace, locate targets, and strike without putting a single American life at risk. And there's more. The B-21 doubles as a command and control hub. It can link up with satellites, ground forces, and other aircraft to deliver real-time intelligence and manage the fight. Imagine a flying command center that your enemies can't even see, let alone target. It's also designed to work with autonomous drones, loyal wingmen, that extend its reach and multiply its firepower. knowing that no enemy radar, no missile, no fighter jet can even sense your presence. This is the reality the B-21 Raider delivers. Unlike any previous bomber, it's not just about being unseen. It's about controlling the battlefield in ways that feel almost science fiction. Every flight of the B-21 sends a message. America's technological edge is unmatched, and no adversary can challenge it without facing insurmountable risk. While others scramble to build countermeasures, the Raider operates beyond their reach, redefining what air superiority means. For US, pilots and crews, it's not just a tool, it's an extension of national power a psychological weapon that shapes enemy strategy before a single round is fired. The B-21 doesn't just enter enemy airspace, it dominates it, making every mission a demonstration of American ingenuity and foresight. And the implications extend far beyond military strategy. Allies can rest easier, enemies think twice, and the global balance of power tilts unmistakably toward freedom and security. This is not just an aircraft, it's the embodiment of decades of lessons, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of excellence that ensures the United States remains the unrivaled guardian of the skies. Now let's talk weapons and flexibility. The B-21 Raider doesn't carry as much as the B-2, but what it does carry is far deadlier. It can deliver both nuclear and conventional payloads. On conventional strikes, it can drop precision-guided bombs, like the Joint Direct Attack Munition, accurate within mere meters. It can fire the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, striking targets from hundreds of miles away without ever entering hostile airspace. And for the toughest missions, it can unleash the 30,000-pound massive ordnance penetrator, capable of smashing underground bunkers buried deep beneath the earth. Just think about the psychological shock for enemy leaders, knowing their most secure command centers aren't safe. 